I don't remember if it's the first clip of the week actually. It might be. I don't totally remember. But I did just find the new Spider Man wave. And they have a bunch of them, not all of them though, which kind of sucks. They have uh, Shan Chi. They have a bunch of the two game reverse figures. I'm definitely picking him up. I might pick him up. I don't know. I do want him. And it's probably the cheapest I'm gonna find them. They do have a lot of different kind of shock. And they have White Rabbit. So they have everything pretty much except Superior and Vulture, which sucks. Those are probably the hardest ones to get. So. You know, it's cool to find them. It might, man, I don't want to, there's another Walmart like 15 minutes away. I might go to it if this one has it. The other one might have it too. I don't know. I don't know though. But uh, yeah, I'll probably look around. Maybe someone hit them somewhere or something. So uh, yeah, until the next clip, I did find this. It's pretty exciting. Really excited for this wave. Really want to do the build a figure too. Hoping to trade the uh, Dr. Doom head I'm going to get for the main body piece that comes in so I really don't want him. So uh, yeah, I'm going to cut the clip here and go to the next one. Yeah. So I went to the other one, but, uh, they don't have any luck, they have some kind of interesting stuff in clearance. Yeah, so I guess I'll show it off this kind of work. They have uh, these Overwatch figures for a weapon box. They have a couple legends here, I guess it's more of a legends week. So they have Cannonball, Speed Demon, and another Speed Demon that should sit here for an eternity. And we just want to look around this little thingy they have to uh, check if they have any cool stuff. Probably not. But uh, yeah, I'll be definitely checking my local Walmart over the next like week till they get the waving because I still need Vulture and Superior Spider Man. You know, it might be available on Hasbro. I'm gonna check my phone, but I know Vulture is it for sure. I don't think I don't really have any other stuff. So I'm actually sitting here. Where's the hell? But uh. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we don't really have anything, so I guess on the next clip, I'll probably doing a bunch of hunting this week for this stupid Spider Man wave, so. Hey guys, it's the next day. I went back to the OG Walmart, and it looks like they did put out the wave, so let's hope they have Vulture. I feel like they do. They do. Fuck yeah. I think they put out two cases of them. I see two superiors, but I'm definitely picking him out today. Yes. Successful home. We actually have two of them. Yeah, they put two cases. But I know the game reverse are two per case. Everyone else is one per case. So I got two of them. And then here's superior spider man. I did pre order him now on Hasbro Pulse just yesterday because I saw him in the video. I just wanted to be sure before he sells out if you were. I think these two are going to be the hardest ones to get, but I do have them first. I'll get them probably next week, which will give me content next week too. So that'd be pretty cool. And he looks really good too. I really like this wave so far. I'm, I'm really excited for this bath. I was thinking in the car, I kind of just want to buy these two and I'll try and sell them off for like retail. Because I see them going for about 25 each. So if I sell them for 40, I should sell, but I don't think I'm going to do that. But uh, yeah, hopefully I find them on clearance or I get a good deal on like the bath parts, but... Yeah, really excited for this, so really glad I ended up coming here. I only got to come here originally. I still see if there's any other cool items. But like every other Walmart is getting these from dirt cheap, except mine. Which is really. I guess we can check this. I, I won't pick it up. It's 25, but if it's 25 here, it's 25 every year. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey guys, uh, bad news, my camera's kind of a little bit wonky today, but I still want to get a uh, hunt video out this week because I got a lot of really cool stuff that you guys saw in the video and some stuff that wasn't even on video. And I really want to show it, so I have to use my camera. Sorry, to, sorry if the video quality is a bit grainy, I can see right now it's going to be a little bit grainy. Uh, my camera, just every once in a while, likes to go into Fritz and just doesn't really want to work properly, so I'm going to do this real quick. Hopefully it won't be too long. I'll probably speed it up a bit because I don't know how much space I have on my phone to do this, but uh, yeah, hopefully this will not become a common occurrence. Like right here, ew, green, ah. So I'm gonna start showing them off right now. Here, I had to like, cut it and like flip it. So first thing, as you guys saw, I get to show off the Spider-Man Marvel Legends, as you guys saw. So here is the Vulture, definitely my favorite this wave. Looks insanely good. I have them really cool. I have them like flying on my shelf. Maybe I can actually show it now. At least like the bright side of me on my phone, is I can kind of pose them a little bit. So I have them like here, kind of. Okay, it's not like working. It's not like staying properly. It's kind of like that. 
the comic book he's flying, but it's kind of better, like, balanced, so it's not covering Red Goblin. Like, that, kind of. I, don't, I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah, anyways, I obviously got more, so the next one I got is, we'll show off this dude. I forget the exact, like, name for this suit, but it's really cool. It's like a cool mech suit. I really like this Spider-Man. Uh, it's really cool. I never used this one in the Spider-Man game, but... He's really neat looking, and I like neat looking Spider-Man. So he's pretty cool. Another Spider-Man I got is probably my least favorite. I honestly don't know if I'm going to keep him. I'm not really vibing with it. Is the Velocity Suit Spider-Man. It's kind of just plain. Like, I don't know. There's something about it I just don't like. So if you guys are interested in trading for this, let me know. I am really in the lookout for the chest piece for the Liu Kang figure in this little wave. I don't know what that is exactly. I just keep calling him Liu Kang. That's what he looks like to me. But yeah, I would be willing to trade this for the piece. It's kind of, I feel like, a pretty good deal for you guys. So yeah, if you're into that, let me know. I would be willing to do that. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. Some, I might keep him. I still do like him. So I'm like 50-50 on keeping him or trading. But we'll find out about him in the coming weeks. Lastly, the last Spider-Man figure I obviously got in this wave was uh, Superior Spider-Man. He's kind of like, I have him hanging upside down because it takes up a lot of space. But I really like this figure. He looks great. Next, him and Vault, or him and... Valkro, not Velcro. Vulture, God, my brain just died there. Are my two favorite this way? I think he looks great. His uh, tentacle just fell off, but yeah, he looks great. Love the colors. Love the character in general. So yeah, got that. Also, something that's really cool these came with. The two, uh, I don't remember which came with which, but the two, uh, same kind of the figure I got right there. The two, whatchamacallit, like video game wave characters came with uh, some web accessories. This is one of them. And you like tie them up. And it's pretty cool. I like it. I have it on my black cat. And then the other one it came with was the lizard has like a little, the face one. So I put it on him because I think it looks kind of cool. So yeah, I like those. I hope they start doing that with Spider-Man figures. Definitely makes it more of a value. Lastly, I'll show off some of the bath parts I got. I'm missing one part up there. Wait. There it is. So I have the two legs. Got one leg. Two legs. And the arms came, these actually both came with Superior Spider-Man, which is cool. And then here's the head, I love the head on this. Look at that bad boy. Ooh, looking good. Yeah, and it's kind of cool, so uh, I'm missing technically two parts, but I don't really need the one that comes with White Rabbit. I'll take it, but it's just like a glider, so it looks like he's on his glider, which is pretty cool. But just to get him to stand, I'm kind of more in the lookout for. Next up is a new wave I guess I'm collecting. Me and my friends did our little Christmas exchange. So they each got me one of these. Uh, it is the Storm Collectibles Gear of the War figures. Here is Coltrane. I really like this one. He's definitely my favorite out of them. Looks great. Looks just like Coltrane. The G. The OG. It comes with the oh, like original trilogy heads, which is what I have on them. And it comes with what they look like in 4 and 5, which is pretty cool. I should have grabbed the boxes, but I did not. But yeah, I really like this. Love how it comes with this Thrasher Ball helmet. Very cool. The next one I'm not the biggest fan of is Marcus. And I'll show you guys why. He looks great. I love how he looks. He looks just like he did out of the game. Look at that. He looks insanely good. They all also come with a couple different weapons. He comes with a hammer burst, a gasher shotgun, I believe, and the pistol, the snub pistol, I believe they're called. And Marcus comes with the gasher shotgun, two lanterns, and a snub pistol. Pistol. I think they each come with a knife. His knife is on him. I think his knife is in the box. You can't play on him. But my problem with them, and I believe people have this problem in general with storm collectors, some of the joints kind of get messed up. So his head, you can't move it because oh, now it wants to work. Or maybe I actually fixed it. No, okay, there. See, his like head joint pops out. So you can't really move it, which is pretty lame because it's kind of a broken figure. I mean, it still works. I have him in the pose I want, and he works. Just sometimes when I move his head, or head around a little bit, it pops all the way out, which can get kind of annoying. So, yeah, that's my one downside with it. Okay, I'm going to pause real quick. I have to grab the box to, I guess, the figure it together to just talk, because I want to show off the box, so I'll, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back now. Uh, yeah. Once I looked at the footage, actually, it looks pretty decent. Not as good as my camera, but, you know, it'll work. Next up, I got this. I finally was able to get Super Saiyan Super, Super, Jesus Christ, Dragon Ball Super Trunks, I was called him. Oh, uh, yeah, he's great. I got him for the insane price. Get this, $40. Insane. This is, like, a $65 figure. It's sold out in a lot of stores, but Big Bad still has them. But I know, like, a lot of other stores, like, people think he's, like, really hard to get. But Big Bad still has them in stock for, like, I think 65 ish dollars. So, getting them for, uh, I got him 40 shipped. The guy 
Found this on Facebook Marketplace. The guy had it for thirty five. If you're local, but he was willing to ship, so it was about uh, five dollars shipping, which is pretty cool. So he lived. He, it was, I also got this in like a day. So yeah, the reason why it was so cheap, if you can see here, his head. He actually customized the head to give him white eyes, which he does not have. But I actually like it. It's more true to the actual like show, which is good. And it, like you can't really tell it's painted. You can kind of tell a little bit in the right because I haven't zoomed in, but. Far away, like where I'm in right now, I can't tell. There's a bird outside. But yeah, I'm really excited. This is definitely my favorite figure arts now. I'm so happy to get this. I love this effect right here, the sword. So cool. And I wanted to get show off the box, mainly just for that. Because the head that it comes with is, I believe it's, this one, that one. it's this one right here. Right there is the one that came with a colored over. But yeah, it comes with a lot of really cool accessories. Uh, it comes with a sword, a normal head, two another normal head faceplate, and two Super Saiyan faceplates. A bunch of hands. And the energy ball I just remembered, I didn't grab. I'm using the energy ball for a different figure. Actually, I'm using it with my uh, Gogeta. So I really like that. I think it looks good. So, uh, yeah, that's everything I picked up this week. Uh, let me know if you guys, how you liked it on the phone. Maybe if you guys actually kind of prefer to have more mobile and kind of show stuff around my room more easily. Maybe I'll start using my phone with my camera maybe a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, hopefully next week the camera will be fixed. I did do a room tour, too, by the way. I don't know if I'm releasing that this week. It might be next week's video because I kind of am going to be buying something. Buying tickets to something next week. And it's going to be about 100 bucks. I don't really want to do that. And figure shop. So, I don't know. I'm also getting a really cool fig line that I've been talking about the last few weeks. Maybe goes along with these bad boys right here. But uh, yeah, so let me know. I don't know. I should be pointing this at my face, but I'm not. So I'm going to end it here. Remember to like, subscribe, comment down below what you picked up this week. Anything you like that I picked up. If you know how to fix this problem right here, let me know, please. I would really be appreciative if there's a way to fix this. I did contact them. They haven't got back to me yet. So I'm collectible. So hopefully they get back to me. Maybe get me a new like figure or tell me how to fix it. And if you have the chess piece, let me know. Because I would be interested in trading other trade fodder. I can trade you. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna drink my coffee, eat my donut, and chill. I'm probably at this later today. So, kudos, my noodles. No, okay.